My hair's in this, my YouTube channel's in this, my life's in this, AFS is in this. There is an update coming out this weekend once again for Update Weekend and Anime Fighter Simulator. As of right now, I'm going to show you what the winner is. It's good for most people, and then there's people who are mad at it. So, I, I don't know. I, I understand both sides. I get it. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the intro and just talk about AFS and see how things are going. Intro. So, I want to start by talking about the update that they want to do this weekend. Let's go ahead and show this screen. Okay, weekend event vote, six times XP, yen, damage, luck, or drops. Now, if you guys look at this right now, six times damage is winning. And I personally would also vote for six times damage because if you look at my team right here, this isn't my actual team, two of them are the incubator, but look, 449Q damage. I go over here to the incubator and I can take, I think, two of them out. They should be done. If they're not done, they'll be done in a little bit. He's not going to be done just yet, but there are two other units here that I can take out of the incubator. The one thing that I like about the time chamber is that it literally speeds up the unit by four days. That's insane. Yeah, he'll be done by tomorrow. The one thing I don't like about the time chamber is that I literally have to sit there in the time chamber and do absolutely nothing and literally just sit there. So, yeah, that's one thing I kind of don't like about the time chamber. Anyways, back to this. The thing that is winning right now is six times damage. I personally would have 2.5, like, 2.6 E damage if it was a six times damage event. And as of right now, it looks like that's gonna happen. So if that does happen, what that means is that tomorrow I'll do a live stream. Who knows how long I'll do the live stream for, but let's go ahead and keep doing time trial carry so that most of you can reach room 50 and finally get your extra fighter equipped. Now, Look at the votes that I voted for. Six time drops and plus six luck. In reality, me personally, being a top, let's say like a top 10% player in the game, this is what's gonna help me out the most. If you guys think about it, six times drops, if you do every time trial for like, let's say eight hours or something, you're gonna get tens of thousands of shard drops from the time trial and not only that you're gonna get like quadrillions of like the defense token because it's based on drop now six times drop would go absolutely crazy on an event like this not only for me being like a top player but for everyone as well even if you only get to like room 40 like 40 on the time trial you're still gonna get like let's see i usually get about 180 to 200 crystals you're gonna get about a thousand crystals in that one time trial event, guys. That's insane. That's a lot of crystals. Plus six luck is gonna help if you're trying to hatch like divine units, honestly. That's the only thing it's gonna help with. Um, and that's the only thing I would want plus six luck for. So plus six luck would be very, very good. There's also six times damage. Like I said, that's nice. Everyone can reach room 50, but at a point it honestly doesn't matter. Six times yen would be okay. Um, especially this, this would help out the top players in the game. The, the, the weaker players like me, yeah, we'd get help, but like the top, like 1% that have limitless divine shiny units, which makes absolutely no sense. Um, yeah, this would help them out a ton. They, they'd be unstoppable, honestly. And then six times XP is okay. It, 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 there's really no point in having a six times XP event with the new time chamber. So Honestly, guys, you have to vote for six times drops, or even, like I said, plus six luck. But six times drop is what everyone would benefit from, no matter who you are, just because it, it, it you get the you get the the crystals. With the crystals, you can buy boosts. You get the multi open tokens. It's so beneficial. Now, the thing I wish Dyrod would have done instead is maybe do plus three luck and plus or three times drops, as opposed to a six times event. This just makes a lot of confusion. Um, I was talking to some people in a group, and they're like, yeah, this sucks. Um, someone, like, I think it was Neil, said, go ahead and do a six times time event for the weekend. That would be absurdly, insanely OP, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. So, guys, vote for drops for me and for everyone else. Okay. Going back into the game, though, let's see. What do I got here? I am so close to getting Requ or the strongest hero Requiem thing. 
I, I honestly might just buy it. And you know, I'm gonna do it right now just because I can. There we go, I bought it, nice, okay. And then the last one's gonna cost 170,000, but of course I can just go ahead and buy it, so. Is it worth it? Probably not, but um, I'm gonna leave it right now because I actually don't need that loose thing right there. So we're gonna leave that alone. Literally the only thing I have to do right now is go back into the time chamber and sit there AFK because there's nothing else for me to do at this point in the game. And you're like, boohoo to, well, yeah, boohoo. I have like six, like the two units that are gonna be out of the incubator tomorrow and they'll be level 300. So I have six units that are level 300. I don't really need much else other than divine units or more drops. And if I get more drops, I can go ahead and get more boosts, which will ultimately help me get more divine units. So that's why I'm saying you guys have to vote for drops. Is there anything going on right now? Uh, I've been playing a lot of games. I've been trying to branch out on the channel, but unfortunately it seems like you guys only watch me for my like AFS content, which is fine. I love AFS. I just need more ideas, I guess, as to what to do in the game. I feel like all the AFS YouTubers just post the exact same thing, and I, I personally just feel kind of bad for uploading the exact same thing as someone else does. It's like, what's the point? You know, they just uploaded it. Like, why would I do that? Um, so I've kind of run out of ideas as to what to do for AFS videos, which is why I'm trying to branch out to other games on like, there's a multiverse simulator game. That one game's pretty good. It's like anime fighter simulator, but with like um, Marvel and DC units. And there's a couple other games like Pet Battle Simulator I've been playing. It's like uh, Pet Simulator, anime battle simulator, sorry. It's like Pet Simulator X, but, but anime characters, so on and so forth. There's a lot of cool things in the game. Uh, and what's another game that I've been playing? I, I forgot the name of the game. Uh, oh yeah, the Warriors Army Tycoon or whatever it's called, Warrior Army Simulator. Another good game. There's just a ton of good games out there on Roadblocks. It just makes me kind of sad that, you know, if it's not an AFS video, no one watches it. It makes me want to quit. It makes me not want to do this anymore. It, it makes me just an AFS channel. And that's not what I want to do with YouTube. I want to be like, level on YouTube and I want to play other games other than just AFS. Don't get me wrong, AFS is still my favorite game on Roadblocks. It's just gotten to the point where there's nothing to do. I am literally just sitting in the time chamber AFK for days. Why? Because I want to get my units level 300. Other than that, there's, like I said, I can keep doing time trials, I can keep opening eggs and trying to get more divine units, but that's about it for me, guys. And because of that, I've been trying to branch out into other games. I'm hoping you guys will still keep joining me and realize that although AFS is an amazing game, once you've hit the top, once you've hit like the highest you can go, they're really, you're limited in what you're doing. You're just maxing out units. And honestly, at this point, I'm technically fighting for leaderboard slots. 4,002 hours in the game, guys. That is a lot of time spent just inside of the game. I'm gonna do the math real quick. 4,002 hours divided by 24 hours a day. 4,002 divided by 24 hours a day. That's 166 days, guys. Almost half a year's worth of time inside of Anime Fighter Simulator. That is a ton of time. And now you guys are probably saying, well, yeah, no, no, no. Duh, duh, Toad, you know? Like, you spent a lot of time in the game. I get it. But I want something else. I want something more. It's great that I've gotten to 500 Q damage. It's great that I'm, like, technically considered really good at the game. But that's it. I can't do anything else in the game. Even, like, this guy right here is taking some time. If I had a couple other strong units, he wouldn't take this long. But still, that's my dilemma with the game. But it's exciting that there is an update again this weekend. I hope you guys are excited for that, too. I'll be out here. And, uh, yeah. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think would be a solution for the game. Let me know what you want to see me upload on the game. I guess I'll continue my New to Pro series. That way I can at least feel like I'm playing the game again. And it's not just sitting AFK. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. Read the thesis. Bye!